So in this tutorial, we are going to do another sorting algorithm, which is the merge sort algorithm. And uh, so far, we have already discussed about uh, insertion sort, bubble sort, and the selection sort. and the selection sort. So we have discussed these three sorting algorithms uh, already and we know that the time complexity taken by all of these algorithms is a big O of n square and that too in the case uh, in the average case. So uh, this merge sort uh, algorithm is a good uh, sorting algorithm because uh, it has the time complexity big O of n log n. So n log n is uh, pretty much, uh, it's much better than the big O of n square. So now let's see what exactly is a merge sort algorithm. So the prerequisite for the merge sort is uh, I'm going to write here prerequisite. So prerequisite is number one, you should know the concept of recursion. So uh, recursion, it, it comes in the function. So you can actually check out the tutorial of functions where we have discussed uh, recursion. So recursion is just basically a function calling itself. And the second thing that we're going to learn in this merge sort is the divide and conquer algorithm. So basically, uh, this is the first algorithm that we are going to do, uh, which is a divide and conquer algorithm. So first of all, what I'm just going to do is uh, I will create an array uh, which uh, will be like this. So I will write some elements inside these inside this array. So let's suppose I write 38, then 27. 43, 3, 9, 82, and finally 10. So I've taken this array uh, which has elements inside it and obviously these are not in the sorted manner. So our merge sort algorithm is first going to uh, it is going to sort this array in the uh, increasing order. So we are going to sort this array in the increasing order. So the basic idea behind merge sort is the divide and conquer algorithm. So first what we are going to do is uh, we will assign this first position of this array as the left and this position as the right and then we will find out the mid position by using the simple formula m equals to uh, l plus r divided by 2 so we will get the uh, middle term which you can see in this case it will be this one so uh, in merge sort we will first divide our given array so let's suppose this is our array so the basic idea behind uh, the merge sort is divide and conquer and by uh, this term divide and conquer what we mean is that let's suppose we have a very big problem uh, statement and the basic uh, algorithm is to divide that bigger problem into sub problems into smaller sub problems and uh, we will just conquer these smaller uh, state problems and then finally after conquering we will get the result so 
This is basically the idea behind divide and conquer. And we, are, we will use this divide and conquer algorithm in the merge sort function to sort our array. So first of all, what we are going to do is we will divide this given array into two equal halves. That's why we have uh, calculated the mid position of this, of this array. So the array uh, will get divided into two equal halves. So the two equal halves will look like uh, this now, which is 38 will come here, then 27, then 43, and then 3. And the remaining terms are 9, 82, and 10. So these are the two sub arrays that uh, we will get after dividing this whole array into two equal halves. So now what we will do is uh, we will uh, keep doing this uh, div division thing and we will use a recursion to actually divide this uh, array into two equal halves. And so uh, let's suppose we are now on this array. So now the value of left will change uh, to this one and right will go this one. Then again, we will calculate the middle position of this array using this formula. And then again, we will divide it into two equal halves. And similarly, we are going to do uh, the same thing with this sub array. So, uh, when we will divide this into two sub arrays, it will look like this. So 982 comes here and 10 will come here. So we are going to perform uh, this uh, division of array, which is uh, the divide and conquer. We will divide uh, this array and uh, we will divide this until and unless the value of left becomes equal to or greater than the value of r. So you can see that uh, at this position, the array cannot be divided further. So that means the value of left has become equal to r. So we are not going to divide this array anymore. So you can see here that this array can further be divided into two halves because left is uh, less than uh, the right one. So we can further divide these sub arrays into equal halves. So what we are doing is we are first going to divide the array into two equal halves and nothing else. And we are going to do this using recursion and we will see that uh, in the code uh, which I will write, uh, which we are going to implement. So after the division, something like this will happen. So now we have performed the division of uh, the given problem. So let's suppose this is the whole array and we have divided it uh, as much as we can. So once we reach the saturation point or at the point when you cannot divide this uh, sub arrays into more arrays, now we are going to do the uh, conquer part. So in the conquer part, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, merge uh, the two values. So uh, what we will do is we will start merging these two sub arrays, uh, this one and this one. And when we will start merging these arrays, uh, we will make sure that uh, they are following the increasing order. So we will merge them or we can say we are, we will conquer them by merging. So we will merge these sub arrays into a single array uh, and then we will, uh, we will have to take care of the increasing order. So let's suppose this is the sub array and now, and this one is also another sub array. So when we are going to merge it, uh, we will compare the value at the left 
sub array and the value at the right sub array so if the value of right sub array is less than the value of the right sub array we are going to first insert 27 and then we will insert 38 so now uh, our merging will give us this result and similarly we will merge these two also and we will also merge these two so when we will merge uh, 3 and 43 into this array we will follow this increasing order rule so we know that 3 should be inserted first and then 43 then in this case the order will be like this 9 and 82 so after dividing the sub array uh, you can see that in the merge sort function uh, we are going to do the div division and then conquer so basically there are two functions that are working the merge sort function will divide the array into the sub arrays and then we will create a merge function then this will be the merge function and the main task of merge function is to merge uh, the sub arrays into another sub array uh, with uh, while using this uh, order which is the increasing order so now what we are going to do is uh, now we are going to merge these two into another sub array so uh, while merging we will have to take care uh, whether the uh, elements inserted inside this array uh, is in the sorted manner or not because uh, when we will get the sorted array then only we can merge two sorted arrays and as you can see when you will merge two sorted arrays uh, we will get another big array which is also which should also be a sorted and finally we will get two sub arrays which are already sorted arrays and uh, so this one uh, will be the sorted array and uh, this one is also a sorted array and this one is also sorted array so the after merging function the resultant uh, array should also be sorted so the basic uh, the algorithm that we are going to use in uh, the program uh, part is we will uh, what we are going to do is we will create two uh, temporary arrays which is the left array and the right array and we are going to store these uh, sub arrays in these left and right arrays uh, sub arrays we will store the elements inside them and then what we are going to do is we are going to create three variables i j and k so uh, the k variable will uh, be pointing uh, to the uh, merged array so i will write here k is going to point to the merged array so now you can see the uh, that in this sub array this is the position 0 this is 1 then 2 and then 3 so the value of k initially will be 0 so first what we are going to do is in the left, left sub array I, we will take another variable i which is going to point the first position so i will be equal to 0 and this is one and then we will create another variable j which is pointing to the first position of this sub array and to combine these two arrays what we are going to do is we are going to compare the value at uh, of this left sub array at i position with the right sub array with the j position and if the value of let's suppose the i is 0 and j is 0 in the first case so if the value of right j is less than sorry if it is uh, less 
it if it is less than uh, the right position then we are going to insert the right of j in the uh, this in this part in the merge subarray and so you can see that first we will insert 3 at this position after inserting a particular uh, particular element in this merged array we will uh, increment the value of k by 1 and uh, if we have inserted an element from the right subarray then we are going to increment the value of j by 1 and if we are inserting a value from this uh, from the left subarray to the merge array then we are going to increment the value of i by 1 so in this case uh, since 3 is inserted the value of j gets incremented and k is also incremented so now the next value uh, which uh, is going to compare is the 27 and 43 so out of 27 and 43 27 will get inserted here and the value of i will get incremented and it was it will now point to 38 so now 38 is compared to the 43 and since it is less than 43 it will get inserted here and after all the comparisons are done we will create a while loop which will run from i less than the number of elements in the left subarray and we will run this while loop so you can see that in the left sub in the right subarray an element is not inserted so it's the remaining element and since there are no elements remaining in the left subarray to compare with what we are going to do is we are going to assign this uh, value to the array kth position so we will just insert it here so we will create two while loops while i less than n and one will be while j less than n r n l represents the uh, number of elements in the right subarray and n r represents sorry n l represents the number of elements in the left subarray and n r represents the number of elements in the right subarray and we will use this while loop to just insert the remaining elements to the merged subarray and we will keep uh, doing this merge thing and after uh, that we will get the sorted array as the result so after this you can see that this is a sorted array now uh, when we will merge this one this subarray and this subarray and since 10 is also there we will also insert this 10 into this array so when we will merge uh, these two arrays we will get the resultant uh, required array which is in the increasing order so the final array will be 3 then 9 then 10 then 27 then 38 and then finally 43 and 82 so this is the basic uh, idea behind the merge sort algorithm we are going to create two functions one is the merge sort function and another is the merge function merge sort function will divide our array in two equal halves and it keeps on dividing the uh, array into sub halves until and unless the value of left is uh, equal to or greater than uh, the right position so uh, this is how merge sort algorithm uh, merge sort works so let's now uh, write uh, the code in the text editor so so that we will get to know how you can implement it so let's move on to the implementation part of the merge sort algorithm so you can see that in this program i've already created an array and i've uh, initialized it with some with these values and uh, we will call the merge sort function and we will provide it with the array and left position is zero then the right position is array size so it will be n and uh, then 
we are going to okay so only these three parameters we're going to pass the array the left position and the right position which is n minus 1 so in the merge sort function I will create an array like this then an integer L which stores the position of the left value and then a variable R which stores the index position of the right part of the array so let's now implement the first uh, the merge sort function first so we know that uh, the function this function will run only and only if this condition is true so left should be always less than right it should not be equal or greater than right so uh, now what we will do is uh, we are going to create another variable m which stores the middle position of the of the sub array of or, or all or of the whole array so middle position will store the middle position of the given array so now what we are going to do is we are going to divide the array in two equal halves and we are going to use recursion and recursion is basically calling its own function a function calling itself but with different parameters so in the first part we are going to divide uh, the array from L to M so L is here and M is here so we are going to call the merge sort function on the uh, on this sub array so we are actually going to divide this sub array and when th this function will call itself then uh, the left position will be here then right will be here then we will again calculate the middle position and similarly again and again we are going to divide this array uh, like this so we have all we, we should also divide this uh, whole array into the right part also so we will also call the merge sort function for the right part and we know that the right part is m plus 1 sorry it should be m plus 1 and it runs till the value r so this is basically how we will divide uh, our array into equal parts so this is the step one so let me just write here that this is the step one so the step two is to merge the two arrays the two halves and if you want to merge the two halves we will create another function merge and uh, we will pass it the array so the array can be uh, any sub array which we want to merge so first we will give the whole array to this merge function and we will give the position of the left and the middle position and the right position of this array and then what it is going to do is it it, it will just merge this array uh, left to uh, middle position and middle position to right so uh, if this is left to right and then m middle position is here so it is going to merge these two uh, sub arrays so this is basically the merge function so let's now write the merge function and pay attention to this merge function because uh, the concept is uh, a little bit trickier than this merge sort function in the merge sort function we have uh, done the division now we will have to merge them although it seems easy that um, merging is easy but this merge sort uh, this merge function is a little bit trickier uh, than the merge sort so in the merge function we we have passed our array 
so I will write int array then we have also passed the left value then the middle position and the right position to this merge function so we know that uh, if we want to merge uh, functions which we have seen in this step in in this step i've shown how you can merge uh, two subarrays into a single sorted subarray sorry in a sorted array so we will create three variables int i comma j comma k and these variables uh, what they are going to do is they're going to store the values i will store the index position of the left subarray and j will take care of index positions of the right subarray and k are the index positions of the merged array so i'm going to define two more variables which is nl which is the number of elements in the left in the left subarray so which is given by this formula so this is m minus this is l m minus l plus 1 and i will create another variable nr which stores the number of elements in the right subarray so it is given by r minus m so what uh, now we're going to do is we will create uh, temporary arrays uh, so we're going to create a left subarray and we know that the number of elements of the subarray is nl and we're also going to create a right subarray and it has elements n r in it so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill uh, these two arrays we're going to initialize the values of these two subarrays into a single merged array so the next step is to copy the elements so we're going to create two for loops uh, one will run from i equals zero i less than n l i plus plus and we will store the left value the position at the left subarray with i position as the array l plus one position so the reason for this step is that uh, we are going to initialize these values uh, i equals to 0 i equals to 1 and uh, we're going to store uh, the the left subarray will store the values after the left index so that's why it is left plus uh, it should be i so it should be left plus i so if i is equals to 1 that means you're going to store the uh, in the element at index position i in the left subarray which is found at the uh, l plus i position of the array so now we will copy the elements of the subarray that is the right subarray it will run till nr and again similarly j plus plus and uh, the value at our ith position will be equal to the array m plus one position plus the jth position so this is how we are going to copy the elements of uh, to these these two sub arrays so the next step is to uh, merge the temporary arrays back into uh, the whole array so now we are going to perform the actual merging so first what I'm just going to do is I will initialize the value of i equals 0 which you can see here that i and j are 0 initially i equals 0 and j is equals to 0 and the value of k is equals to the left index so this is the left part of this array 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this while loop which runs uh, until and unless the value of i is less than n l and the value of j is less than n r like this so when you will find uh, when this condition evaluates to be true then we will start comparing the element at the left sub array with the uh, right uh, one so j is so this should be rj so when this condition evaluates to be true that means the uh, element at the i position is less than the element at the uh, sorry element at the left position is less than the element at the right position then we are going to uh, insert the then we are going to assign the value of array at k position as the left of i position and after doing that uh, we have already seen this concept here when we were discussing that so uh, we will also increment the value of i which we have already seen later uh, we have seen that before that if the value of i uh, is like this then we are going to insert 3 first and then uh, if we are choosing the element from the right sub array then we are going to increment j++ and if we are choosing the element from the left sub array then we are going to increment the value of i which we are doing in this step so in the next step is the else part we are going to assign the array k position as the rj position and since we are assigning the right sub array element to the uh, merged array we will increment the value of j here so after doing uh, these steps we will increment the value of k by 1 so that now you can insert the next element at the first position and this will go on and on until and unless the value uh, until and unless this while condition evaluates to be false so after this step uh, we have seen that 43 uh, remained in this sub array so if any elements are remaining in any of the sub array if the element uh, is remaining in the right sub array so I will write if i is less than n l so I will write a comment here so elements remaining in left sub array then we are going to run this while loop while i less than r and at each step we are just going to assign the k value as the left as the element in the left sub array and we will increase the value of i by 1 and k will also increase by 1 and if the elements are remaining in the right sub array so I will just change it right sub array so j will run from it will run till n r and the array of j position sorry array at k position which is the merge sub array will get assigned the value at the uh, r uh, ith position sorry r j th position because in the right part we are concerned about the j position so we will increment the value of j plus plus so this is actually how our merge function and merge sort function are uh, working and the merge sort function is dividing our array into uh, uh, into sub arrays and the merge sort function uh, is will just create two sub arrays it will store the result these two sub arrays and the left and the right sub arrays and finally it will merge these two 
uh, subarrays in the sorted part. So this one is the comparison and that leads to the sorted merged array which is the array k. So array at position k is the array is the merged array. So in this manner we will uh, get our merge sort function and finally I will create I will just display after the call function I will just display the sorted array I++ plus plus see out array I position like this and in this manner we will get our sorted array so we have seen the implementation and this code uh, you can get this code in the link that I have given below it is a github link so you can just go through it so let's run this program and see uh, what will be the output of this uh, program so first uh, I'm going to compile this program So first I will compile it and then let's run this program. So after running we have encountered some error here. So that's mainly because uh, we have written here R of I it should be R of J. So let's now run this program again. Compilation. And finally so you can see that uh, we have got the resultant uh, sorted array which is 3 9 10 27 38 43 and 82 so this is how uh, you will implement the merge sort function so here is the working of the merge sort function and remember that this is an important step because here only we are going to uh, implement the merge function so it is based on recursion and divide and conquer and the time complexity of this algorithm is n log n so in the next tutorial we will also study about uh, the quick sort algorithm and quick sort is also an intuitive way to sort array and it also has the time complexity uh, as uh, n log n but in quick sort you can see in merge sort uh, we will have to store these uh, sub arrays in the left and right sub array so a lot of space will get consumed so uh, in order to uh, just decrease the space complexity we will use the quick sort function and quick sort is relatively faster than the merge sort function and we will see that uh, the quick sort function is an in place algorithm that means that you do not need to store the left and right sub arrays in some other uh, left and right sub arrays uh, we will just sort the array uh, in this array itself we will divide it and we will do all the things in this position so this is an in place and a better sorting algorithm so uh, that's it thanks for watching